Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, call the timers, how to declare and call the timers and counters in this structured text and in, in general how to call function blocks. So here I already have uh, declared few variables, start, motor and reset. Start will be used to turn on the motor and the reset will be used to, to reset the counter. I'm going to declare timer 01 as the t on function block and counter 01 as the CTU or counting up counter function block. Then here in the main body of the program, in the structure text programming, we can refer to the timer 01. So timer 01 and then open the parentheses and you can see here some hints. Yeah, We have input variables as in and pt and output variables are q and et. So I need to determine what is the input to the output in terms of the in or whatever triggers the, the timer and the preset time. So for the in, I'm going to assign uh, the, mod, the start variable and comma space and for the pt, for preset time, I'm going to use pt hashtag one second. OK, so this is how I will initiate how I, I'm counting the timer 0, 1. And the same for counter. Uh, but prior to that, I'm going to assign the value of the motor coming from the output of the timer 0, 1. So timer 0, 1, and if I type that, I will have access to the inputs and outputs of the timer. And I will uh, select the queue as the output of the timer, enter and close the line. Then for the counter, I will write counter 0, 1, which is something that I already have declared, and then open the parentheses. And you see here the input variables and the output variables of the counter. CU, reset, PV are the inputs, Q and CV are the output, output variables. So here I will uh, select CU to be the value coming from the motor. So each time the motor turns on, I want to add one to the value of the of the counter. Then for the preset, Preset, I'm going to use the uh, uh, the reset variable that I have declared already. And for the preset value, I just set it to 4. And then I close the, the line. In the visualization, I, I already have one switch, which can be turned on or off as they start. I have one motor which will, one pilot line which will show the state of the motor, and I have one push button which is uh, resetting the counter. Then here I will put a text field which will show me the content of the current value of the counter. Here, as the text, I just type percentage i, and as the text variable. I will assign the the current value of the counter. Okay, so now that's all. Let's log in and run the code. Uh, there are compiled errors. Let's see what are the errors. So two errors, preset is no input of preset is not defined. Uh, let's see, maybe there's something wrong. Uh, it's not preset, it is reset. OK, and let's compile it again to make sure that there's no, OK, there are no errors. Now we can log in and, and then yeah, run the code. OK, we are here. So if I press reset, the current value of the counter will become 
uh, one it had it from the previous run that I had so here whenever I switch on the start the motor turns on after one second and the value at the counter will, will increase by one the timer is timing it's done then motor is turned on and the current value of the counter increased by one now you have three each time that I press the reset the current value of the counter will become zero as as you already know and yeah that's all and here you can see the the values in real time yeah and for the boolean ones we have true or false and for the integer the uh, variables we have the integer value so for the preset value we have four and yeah we, we, we are not using the the current value in the in the program in the body of the program okay so th that's all for this video you can see how to declare the the function blocks and then how to call them and how to uh, determine the inputs and outputs of each function block. I just had here the timer and up counting counter as, as examples, but you can use any other function block that you wish. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks a lot for watching again.